Schools try to instill pride in people's heritage. If not combined by being in Christ, it could lead to exactly that which Paul feared. Either history without Christ, or, or Christ without history, could be bad. Christ, one, retains the good and abandons the bad. Maybe not at all, all at once, and maybe not as perfectly as others, but it, that is the essence of regeneration. Maybe not as perfectly as others, but it, that is the essence of regeneration. There is the Latin phrase, simul pecca e peccator, which means simultaneously sinner and sinless. The same goes for one's tradition. I can say I am both Dutch and American, but also as a Christian, I am neither Dutch nor American. That was what... Paul was getting at in Galatians 3, verse 28, where, whereas the Jews from his Jewish tradition had a prayer which in part said, Thank God I am not a woman, Gentile, or slave. Paul God counters that by saying, In Christ there is no, there is no Greek or Gentile or, or uh, woman or slave. Obviously, you don't literally lose your gender or your ethnicity, but you do become something new. This does not mean a person in Christ is incapable of error or cannot be held accountable for actual things done wrong. If that is the case, bearing true witness is to admit culpability and to seek to restore the proper order through restitution or, or whatever it may be. Some people may need to do more of that, seeking to restore by asking for forgiveness. Whereas others may need to be more self-assertive and not allowing defamation to occur, defamation of self and or of God. Not long ago, one student said something which at first first glance sounded wise, saying, don't try to be something that you're not. On the face of it, that sounds wise, but is it completely accurate? The emphasis on keeping people humble in their place, the fact is, by nature, we're all pretty ordinary people, aren't we? 